Hi everyone, it's been a little while. Sorry for the long break between videos. I figured I'd give an update on all the things I'm working on, so here's the rundown. I'm actually reading off a script for once because there's a lot to go over and I didn't want to forget anything. So, I work on a lot of things all at once, and because oftentimes I run into obstacles that I don't know how to solve, and after several attempts I can't figure out on my own, I have to wait until I'm able to get someone to help me. Finding someone with the time and the will is pretty difficult, so there are a handful of projects on the back burner, so to speak. I want to get some better textures made for the Berserk equipment, and I also still need some help fixing the physics for the capes. They're supposed to flow, more like the uh, alchemical cloak for example, but they're more stiff in appearance like the Sovereign's mantle. Additionally, I've been meaning to find a time for myself and one of the people who helped me with restoring the Berserk equipment to sit down so he can explain to me exactly how the DLL works so that I can add new things to the game and teach others how to do so. Um, I'm also waiting on this person and one other to help me finish the model editor so we can finally have custom models in Dragon's Dogma. Additionally, I want to make high poly models for the characters. Not only do I want them for gameplay, but with a high poly model, I'll be able to bake better normal map textures for the body and muscles, which will help me finally complete my skin textures. I'm working on a project for the Rift. I'm pretty sure he wants to keep it a surprise until he releases the video, so I won't go into details, but there's an aspect of it that's proving very difficult to get right, so I need some help before I can finish it for him. Um, also, I have found some more improved textures for my mod LDK's Armory, as well as better textures for my remastering sneak peeks. I'm hoping to get these out soon, but some things in real life have been keeping me a bit busy. I also caught a small mistake or two with LDK's armory, just like a small normal map mismatch on like um, one of the vests and a pair of shoes, but those will be corrected in the upcoming patch that includes um, more better stuff. So, um, next, let's see here. Oh, I learned about a new method of texturing. It's called procedural texturing. And I think I can potentially use it to make really, really high-end textures that match the originals for the game. This could potentially be much faster and easier than hand drawing, which I've been trying to learn for years at this point. I just haven't grasped the kind of photoreal style that Dragon's Dogma has, so that's why my remastering project has taken so long. I've been trying to learn procedural texturing with what little free time I do have. I'm hoping I can find someone to teach me more. I've learned how to create some textures, but I don't know how to recreate existing images like some people know how to. If I can get good at this, I think it just might be what I've been looking for this whole time, and it could be, well, really helpful in finally helping me finish remastering Dragon's Dogma. Speaking of remastering, one thing I have been able to get redone in HD is the text. I managed to find someone who identified the exact font the game uses, so I was able to make 4K text for the game. The reason I haven't released it to the public yet is because there are two small issues. It's probably just me being a bit OCD and people probably mostly wouldn't care, but I like to make sure my projects are done before I release them. So first of all, that dark outline that's on certain kinds of text, like in the quest menu and a couple other places, it's too thin despite the fact that I matched the original texture as closely as I could. So we had to figure out what code to edit to fix that. That and on menus where you select more than one, like if you're going to give, an, uh, like give items to a pawn or discard them and it counts up to past single digits, um, the numbers will mesh together, so like the 1 and the 0 will be inside each other, and that's just kind of annoying. So once we get those fixed, um, I'll want to release it so you guys can enjoy some nice, crisp subtitles and text and stuff like that. Um, next on the agenda here, uh, my big enemy project. It <laughs> continued to snowball into something bigger and better. But there are a few things I need some help with before I can really perfect it. Luckily, one person in one of my discords has been doing some research, and I will actually 
um, mention them. Their name is Riles. They also go by Keys. Um, they've been putting a lot of stuff up on Nexus lately that I'll probably show in this video here. Um, but they've been figuring out some really amazing stuff and doing a lot of research. And I think they'll really be able to help me with my project and kind of help with the little bits that I can't quite figure out on my own. I really do want to show what I've been working on, but I also want to be a big surprise when the actual mod is released. That being said, some of it has already been showcased in some of the Rifts videos if you want a taste of what's to come. On another note here, and I do feel a bit bad for splitting my focus, but I've actually been putting a bit of work in on another game. Because it actually has some of the tools for modding that I desperately wish Dragon's Dogma had, including a model editor. With the help of some other modders, I've managed to get some really cool stuff done for Devil May Cry 3, another one of my favorite games. So that's probably a good news for any of you guys that watch this channel that like Devil May Cry. But um, on the bright side, I've learned a little bit more about how model editing for games works. So maybe that'll come in handy in the future. So I think that's just about everything. I haven't gone over absolutely every detail, especially like the big enemy project, because there's several things that I want to be a surprise, like I said. But I just kind of wanted to give everybody an update so you didn't think I had just disappeared. I promise I'm still working on stuff. I just have a lot of stuff to work on, lots of ideas that I bounce around between because... I'm ADHD, and also, um, like I said earlier, there's just stuff that I'll have problems with, so I gotta wait till I get some help, and sometimes people take months to get back to me, but I just, uh, well, yeah, I just wanted to give an update, so I hope that guys, guys, I hope that gives you an idea of what I'm working on, and that I'm still very much working on making this game as fun as possible, so I think that's everything. Have a good day, everybody.